My name is Edward Brown, and many years ago, I don't remember what year it was, but we had, uh, during the CCID project, we built this new road that you see is coming down here. The old road used to go down back around, around the bottom there. And uh, uh, my, just, uh, just me, myself, and another guy by the name of Valentine, we poured this whole concrete. We poured all this by hand. We mixed that by hand, and we done it in sections. I, it's uh, what you do is you, you you can see it's a section here across here and then another one back over in there. We'd pour that, we'd pour the concrete, and then we'd let that set. And then when that set, by well, then we'd use this this uh, piece that was already dried up to mix the other concrete on. And then we'd shift the concrete onto another section. It took us quite a while, but then we was able to pour this whole thing all by hand. And then, uh, then after it was done, by well, then they did. Somebody else did the rock work. We didn't do the rock work, but somebody else did the rock work. And it was, uh, I don't know how long it took us, but then we, we made it. it was, and it gets real hot down here in summer. I'm telling you, there's no, it, it, I mean, you don't get much wind in here. And that's about it. And we'll, uh, and uh, this whole section was new, the section was all built by hand. And when we was working up on the other side there, I was the uh, demolition expert. <laughs> So to speak, I did all the the, the blasting. I mean the the uh, dynamite part, and then the uh, most was all done by hand. There was a, a team of horses and a scraper that did some of the work, but most of it was done by hand from here on up to where it meets the old road. That's about it. There's a little spring up up on the hill, on it. Just to, and then we used to when we used to come in the horse and buggy days, we used to stop there and get a drink of water. Then we called it Frog Mouth Hantaka. In the Indian, it's called Hantaka, and uh, we used to stop there and get a cool drink of water. There was always water there when. But I know it's kind of green in there now when we came down, so. Why did you call it rock mouth? And that was, uh, we, we couldn't, uh, and in the horse and buggy days, that was, it took us quite a while to get up, uh, get up this grade to the top. Did it look like a frog's mouth? I don't know, they, I don't know why they called it that. Well, it, Probably did it one time, you oh. know, probably did it one time. How about the old road over there? There's nothing much to the old road except that uh, they sort of be shorter to come down this way than rather than to uh, rebuild the other road that came by the way. How thick is the concrete? Huh? How thick is it? I don't remember. I, it must be, it's, it's over. It's over, uh, I, I think it varies according to the way it is, you know, how it was poured into the thing there, sometimes four, four, to, uh, four to six inches, I think, in spots. You can see it's where it's starting to break, where it's thin. How'd you pour it with the water running? Huh? How'd you pour it with the water running? The water? The, the water was, uh, was, uh, uh, I, th I think the, 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 the water was left to the last one. I mean, there was, uh, there was uh, like a, a ditch that went through there. There wasn't much water. And that's, just, that's what we used to mix the concrete with. Okay. Now we are down on the uh, 
It was the first house in into this area when we come in. There used to be a house over here. A person by the name of Lorenzo lived there, him and his family, back up in there. And then uh, we was let go back a little bit from, from our last scene of uh, where we made the, uh, the dip, the concrete I was talking about. The, uh, we never had any kind of a transportation to come to work with, so uh, we had to walk from uh, about where the, uh, the, the new gym that's being under construction there. We had to walk from there down to where we, I showed you where the dip was. We had to walk there every day, back and forth. And, uh, and then there was uh, another family lived right behind us, 180 degrees back. It was, uh, we called him Cup Sitter, and he had a, he lived back that down that way. And then, uh, and then when they, uh, when they, when they used to have the fiestas, when they had the, the Indian fiestas down there, they used to line up about in this area in here to wait for the, uh, for the, uh, the the committee to come out there and, and, and uh, lead them in in, 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 a, in a parade like fashion into the fiesta grounds, and uh, so that's where they waited in here in this area in here, and that would be people from Campo, uh, Los Conejos, invited people from Campo to their fiesta and then. And then, and then Campo would also, in the follow the, the same year, invite them to go over there. This was an annual affair. They did this every year. But then you couldn't go in by yourself. You had to wait here to be escorted in. So, so that's that's that, that's the story for that. I mean, you know. Dad, what kind of houses were were built? Were they out of rock, out of wood? I I don't know. I don't think they're uh, rocks because it would still be there yet. I think it was wood. And it's, uh, Do you remember? Was it dirt floors? Did they have windows? You don't. You we never had no floor. All all houses were, were dirt floors. We never had no wooden floors. We didn't know what wooden floor was. How about windows? Did you have windows? It had windows. I think it had windows. I think, but, uh, but in those days, everything was was uh, dirt. But that was a way of life, so it didn't make much difference. We didn't know no better than me. You know. When when the Campo group came, did they come with their horses and buggies? Horse and buggies. There was no cars. And did they? Did they? I know you said in some of the fiesta they marched in, marched in with a fiddler. Oh yeah, this guy had a fiddler. A guy named Sylvester was a fiddler. He played the he, he played the violin. Too. It, was, it, was, it was a big event. It was uh, the, uh, the the uh, wagon that they rode in. The committee that rode in was all decorated with flags and stuff around. You know, kind of bunting like type thing. You know, we went, uh, that was the committee from Los Conejos. Yes, that was. And the fiddler, was he from Conejos or yes. was he from Campo? No, he was from Conejos. Did they call him Ellie Hunt? The fiddler, did they call him Ellie Hunt? No, I don't know what they called him. Okay. Did you feed the people once they came and took care of their horses? What did you do? How long was the well, fiesta? Well, we, we, we'd make that another session. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that. Who lived with Calisto back there? Calisto La Chapa, the name is family? Oh, when we was coming into the area, when, when we came back there, you probably seen the lone tree that's standing way up to eucalyptus tree. That's a uh, family lived there, Anton and his family lived there. And the only way they could get water there was they had to go clear down to that creek, the same creek where we were uh, taping before. 
they had to get water from there up to the top and then on to the uh, little bit further to the left of that was another a man lived there by the name of uh, uh, Calisto. No. Another no. guy? Evelino. Evelino lived there. And there was uh, so that's the hard part about the thing with water. That's a long ways down there, but that's the only way they could get water. You know. Who were the names of his sons? Huh? Avelino, did he have two sons? Two, two what? Two sons. Sons? I know he, he lived alone as far as I know. How about Callisto? Did he have two sons? No, Callisto was no, he never never had any kids. Oh Callisto who's who was Callisto's dad? Anton. Oh I get it, Anton. Anton. And Anton had uh Callisto was his son. Yeah, Callisto and Dan. And Dan were her sons. Uh -huh. Did he have any daughters? One daughter. What was her name? Margaret. Margaret. Yeah. What was his wife's name? I don't know. Oh, okay. Anyway, that's it, I think. We're, we're standing here now uh, on the area where the uh, the second fiesta ground. This is the, this is where this is the last just as they had was in this area. There was the one the Ramadas ran down that way for the north side, and then the west side crossed that way, and then on the south side it came almost into this creek where you see this big oak tree back there that ran that way. Then the east one ran across this way. And uh, when they were uh, and the old fiesta grounds was uh, back that way and across. See where the tree is over there, at that old that, uh, tree back there. The, the, uh, the tree that's uh, right over there, over the pickup, straight ahead, kind of dried up tree. There's a road that used to go right by that one that goes down across the creek. And on the other side of the creek, there's a uh, that's what the old fiesta ground was, and uh, they had to move that because it would, every every winter the road would wash out. So they decided to bring it over here, where we're at now. And uh, there was, there's a family, a family lived right straight across that way, and uh, and he was uh, his name was Herman. Well, uh, Oh, Osuna, and uh, he uh, he farmed all that area back up in there. Most of all this uh, open field that you see here was at farming at one time. They, they grew wheat, and uh, and they were when they were excavating this this area when they were cleaning up. And this was all covered up. You couldn't see this before. It was all it was all just flat like here. And they were digging, and they found a rock, and then they kept on digging, and they, that's what they found is well, that part in there. So that's uh, it's been there ever since. I mean, you know, they, they have covered back up. And then uh, straight back up. Right back up here was another family that lived up there. I can't remember his name. But, uh, and then below that, down that way, there was a guy by the name of uh, Gabriel. He lived down there. And uh, that's about it for this area in here. Rita. Rita, Aunt Rita. Yeah. Oh, that was uh, Rita's uh, grandparents, I think. I think was, that's, that's, that's who lived back up in here. Then there's other families. We'll catch you on the other side of the creek when we go over there. Dad, when they had the fiesta, where'd they keep the horses and stuff at? The horses and stuff were they were just turned loose. They were oh. turned loose. 
and uh, the uh, in those days when you uh, went to the fiestas when your horse and buggies when you got there the uh, the people that was hosting the uh, the, 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 uh, the reservation would uh, take care of your horses just as soon as you stopped why then they unharness the horses and and, uh, and then uh, take them and pasture them. And then until the day he was ready to leave, which would be a week later, then they would round all up all the horses and then there would be quite a big round up. And some of those kind of got wild all of a sudden, like, you know. And then they would, uh, they would harness all those things up and then send you on your way. When you, you didn't leave in the bunch, that not like coming in and being escorted. You just left whenever you wanted. So, and that was, uh, those, some people say those were the good old days. I mean, two horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about it for this, for this part. Dad, do you remember anything about those rocks that were uncovered? Well, no. You no. They uncovered.